Hey guys, good morning. We're back to the grind again. We have a, uh, an appointment today, outdoors. It's currently raining. They say, I don't know who they are, but they say that this is uh, supposed to clear up when I actually have the appointment at 11. So we're gonna go, we're gonna get there, we're gonna make the day happen. Hope you guys are having a wonderful day or have had a wonderful day. We'll see you after the intro. Well, according to the weather report online, because you know, online, is always the truth, right? It says that it was not supposed to be raining. Once they get to my job, I'm thinking that they might be wrong. Just maybe. just as I started working, that was perfect. Woo, all right, and I still have the whole day ahead of me. Two hours later. Well, the dishes are done, that's a good thing. Also getting laundry done too. Yep, today's the day of getting stuff done. Just so that I don't leave you out, there's the Buffy, hi. Sit, speak, ah! whisper. No, whisper. Good girl. You want a treat now, don't you? Do you want a treat? Do you want a treat? All right, are you ready for pack dog? Let's move this. This is laundry that hasn't been done yet. Hey, 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 get off the blanket. What are you doing? Just because it's dirty doesn't mean you need to make it dirtier. Okay, are you ready? Pack dog, are you ready? Here we go. Pack dog. Get it, get it, get it, get it, get it, get it. Good girl. Today, two appointments. How many appointments were was I supposed to have today? Only one, which canceled Thanksgiving, I think. Day before Thanksgiving, he canceled for today, which is fine. That gives me plenty of notice. So I was able to schedule something last night, late last night for this morning that we've already been on. And then this one here is one that came through a little while ago and they're like, yeah, you know, my vehicle won't start, blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, you know, it just so happens that I have time today right now. Do you want to do it? And they're like, yeah. I'm like, all right, so here I am. So it's a uh, 2001 Ford Windstar. Won't start. Now I don't know if it won't crank and not start or if it cranks and doesn't start. Totally different diagnostic process. And the second that you get to the car and and you, you start to look it over, you start to formulate things in your head, put the key in. At, from the moment you open the door, you start to diagnose a no start. Open the door and the dome lights don't come on. Well, might have a battery issue. Connectivity, dead battery, charging issue, something like that. Parasitic draw on the battery, going dead after a while. And then just like uh, when you go to a doctor, telling a doctor all the symptoms, all the symptoms that you have when you're sick, helps him arrive at a quicker, more accurate diagnosis. To whereas if you go to the doctor and say, "Yeah, I don't feel good. What's wrong with me?" He'll be like, um, okay, great. Now I'm gonna have to go through the checklist of here's all the things that, you know, try to start to narrow things down. Uh, well, where was my tangent going? I had squirrels. Oh, this person has a, a, a sticker in their window. Love trumps hate. And I'm like, trumps love hate? What? I, uh, I got it now. I got it now, George. It's okay, I got it. Like, I got it because I'm smart like that. It's dark, I know but I like living in a back cave. I'm back home. Hi, Buffy. Hi, but I'm also eating, so you need to go lay down on your bed. Go on your bed. Um, I am going to reap the fruits of my labor, and I'm gonna watch my own vlog, because I really think that yesterday's vlog was well put together. I had fun doing it, and I have a new source for music now. I'm paying a little bit for it per month, but 
it makes things better. It's not the same old non-paid music. It's better stuff. So if you guys liked yesterday's vlog, then let me know, please. If you didn't see it, go back yesterday and watch it because it was really, really good, in my opinion. But of course, I'm a little biased. There we go. We're going to watch it. Well, it is currently peeing outside. It's raining. Um, I'm inside. I'm getting laundry done, which is back here. Angie had brought some Christmas lights and miscellaneous stuff, so I'm going through those and uh, organizing and figuring that stuff out. I'm also cleaning up like my backpack and the stuff from hiking the other day. We have to take these cards down. Thanks to all of you guys for sending them. But we have to make uh, room for uh, Christmas cards. So we're gonna be taking these down. Actually, no. We might end up leaving them up until after Phoenix's birthday because these are haunty and we're having a Halloween birthday party. So that's the other thing that I'm doing. About ready to wrap this present. Got some nice black wrapping paper, Halloween-y. Also going through, uh, this is a, a dead set of the peppermint candy lights. So very, very, very sad. Um, it's not the fuse because it passes power through it. So I am going to open up the control box and uh, just to see if there's anything in there. I mean, if it passes power and it's not working and it's all of them, not just a single one, then it's got to be the controller. That's the only thing that stands to reason, um, which means that they're toast. They're trash. So I'll, I'll recycle them. I might hold on, if that ends up being the case, I might hold on to uh, one or two of the lenses just in case one of the other ones breaks, I'll have a, uh, a spare. But none of those have broken over the uh, freak seven years that I've had them, something crazy like that. So yeah, so I'm doing everything at the same time. It's amazing and I'm getting nothing done because of it. <laughs> well then, I guess we could say we probably had some water intrusion in this unit and it's probably pretty well toast. Yes, I could take the time to go through and take the glue off from there, take the glue off from there, stick the wires through to get some kind of uh, slack on this so I could examine the other side of the board. That's a lot of work. And I've got plenty of these, I guess, and I'm just gonna, I'm just not gonna do anything with it. Because I think it'd probably be all in vain because there's also uh, circuitry on here too. So that is probably blown, I imagine. That looks bad. Ooh, you guys gotta see this. Dissecting the peppermint candy lights. So I didn't have, uh, I'm getting rid of them anyway, so I just drilled this out to make it really quick. I don't have a, a Torx bit that's deep enough to get in there, um, or at least I don't have it at the ready. Anyway, look at this. So these are what they look like, like this. You've got the wires that come in. They're like these little modules that go in there. They have, it uh, looks like two LEDs at the top, three. There's three LEDs at the top. It's weird that one of them is off to the side right there, you can see that, and then the other two are sticking straight up. Anyway, so there's these little nodes, or modules, or whatever. Uh, this one here. That one's bad. <laughs> you can see how it's all uh, rusted inside, and the part that's flowing around in there is, oh shoot, there's a couple of uh, ceramic capacitors in there. There's an LED in there that's floating around, yeah. So that's bad. That may have blown out the whole thing, who knows. But these other three are good, so I'm gonna hold on to these um, in case I need to wire these in now that I know what they look like and how they work and everything. But this is kinda cool. Dissecting the peppermint lights. All right guys, I wasn't gonna do COC tonight because it's getting late and I need to get up early and that's the same thing, the same story all the time, isn't it? Hi Buffy, how are you? Are you a good girl? Okay, but what I decided, because we're behind um, one night also on COC, so what I'm going to do is I want to split split the hair. I'm going to do COC from last night, no, excuse me, from the night before last night, and then tomorrow night I'll plan on doing tonight. Oh man, I'm screwing with the whole vlog time continuum. So first comment of the night for the day before yesterday, that's the uh, one where we had the Christmas uh, lights uh, all completed. Uh, first comment was Natalia Parody, so you, oh wow, congratulations, you say great vlog Troy, hope you and Angie had a fantastic weekend, and you should put some music with the decorations and put it on YouTube, love those videos and lots of views. Um, oh, you mean like a standalone video of all the lights? I could do that, I could do that, I, I probably won't because I don't have enough time, we got Phoenix's birthday party and everything, I know it was just a suggestion, but I don't know, I'll see what happens, we'll see what happens. I'll see what I can do. There we go. 
Mr. Bro, speaking of Angie getting more time off, what happens when you guys get married? Are you moving closer to the border so Angie can drive to Canada every day, or are you, Angie, looking for a new job in the States? Um, no, when we get married, um, she's going to be looking to come here. And then once she gets here, we'll continue remodeling this house a little bit, and then we'll be getting a house of our own here in the States. Horror Queen, ha ha ha, yay for scaring the JWs. Um, our neighborhood is bad about that, so I have a no, a no soliciting, no religion sign on our door. And your dog, Monkey, gets treats for barking at solicitors. You know, it's interesting that I also have a note or a sign at the front door saying no soliciting or no solicitors. And I, I've, I've shown that to people that are trying to advertise, I don't know what else you call it, their, their religion, and I say, excuse me, no soliciting. Oh, we're not solicitors, we're not selling anything. Yes, you are. You're attempting to sell your religion. So you are soliciting for your religion. And they're just doing their job. I'm, I'm not rude to anybody unless they don't back down. If, you know, if I tell them once, it's like, no thank you, and then they continue to do it, it's like, dude, I said no thank you, and then... It's never really gotten beyond that, but anyway. Okay, JD Suksi, uh, Angie, is that a giant glass of wine that you're slamming during COC? No, that was Coke Life. Huh, uh, Whirly Bird Productions, hey, your house has a frosty wink wink, or should I say your frosty is erect. My mind flew all the way to the Lakewood and landed in your mossy gutters. <laughs> Jets Girl, the lights look fantastic, thank you. Garrett Stock, hello from the Netherlands, since Josh did mention you guys. Awesome, so this is your first comment on, on a Hellmouth vlog, isn't it? I'm looking amazed to your yard decorations. I like it. Here in Holland, we see that a little. Here we decorate inside the house for Christmas, outside more on the celebration of the King's birthday at the end of April. The whole country colors orange with flags and stuff. My friend's daughter has a chicken farm in the state of Washington. I thought, or I think in Euphrata or so. Definitely see you. Bye for now. Best regards, Garrett. Oh, well, thank you, Garrett. That's awesome. Thank you for commenting. Uh, Rebecca Wolf. Oh, what? Just wait. We're not done yet. What? So pushy. We're not done. Oh, the camera's almost done. I'm glad. I'm glad you did that because the, I know the battery's almost dead. Okay, concentrate. You want to read one? You want to read one with me? Ew, why are you breathing in my ear? Uh, Rebecca Wolf, oh my gosh, I love your display for cr cr that holiday. LOL, it's very beautiful. And the final comment of the night, Adam S. looks very unique, if that makes sense. Yeah, it does make sense. Happy haunting, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Again, tomorrow night, I plan on doing COC for tonight and tomorrow night. You guys get what I'm saying. Anyway, see you guys tomorrow. Bye. Red Ram. Yeah. Red Ram. Red Ram. Red Ram. Red Ram. Red Ram.